stretch out our legs for us. You can clasp your elbows and hang your hands on the ground, or you can reach for your ankle and pull it, which of course is a little bit more intense. So just figure out what feels good for today. Take five deep breaths wherever you are. If it's too much, back off. You know, it, it can be quite an enlightening experience <laughs> to stretch the hamstrings. <laughs> you might see God. <laughs> Get a visit from Jesus, but yeah. Otherwise, just let it go good and hang. <sighs> relax into the space. Engage, but relax. That's what opens up the body the most. So then we bend the knee. Bring it back down. Walk into a down dog. So you might have to widen your stance to come back into down dog. There you go. Sway it out from side to side. So again, have a little bit of fun with it. It's going to massage out the hip flexors. It might be a little intense. You might feel it roll over some <laughs> tight spot. It's like, what is that? But just let it kind of uh, do a little mini free romping session in there. The flexors is the main, main part of the body that gets neglected and holds a lot of tension from all the sitting and it also stimulates the lymphatics. Uh, that whole area along the groin really collects a lot of stagnant energy so it's good to work it out. We're going to ground both feet, press our arms straight, inhale right leg up and hook. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects really help. Okay, we're going to keep the knee bent. So pull your foot back down towards your bum. Yeah. Second foot, hook, upside down dog. Yes. Now knees have to stay heavy here. Knees have to stay heavy. You got it covered? Outside in. Yeah. You I feel like I'm almost too low here. Well, it's because you have to pull your knees down. Pull your Walk your hands forward. You have to stay long. Walk your hands forward. Bring your hands down to the ground and walk them forward. Yes. Now pull your knees down towards your belly. Pull your knees down. Yeah. So that's how you keep the. If you pull your knees up, you're gonna lose the swing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And you you kind of crunched up, so the swing is just gonna go towards the sky as your knees started to lift. So we want to keep the body nice and long and come into upside down dog. So up dog, you know, with our feet on the ground has the same long arms. Relax your head. Just let your, the crown of your head point down towards the ground. Keep the arms nice and straight tucked. Open up the armpits if you can. It's a big heart opener. So back bends and inversions are the things I focus on the most to get the length and space in the body. So to come into an up dog, we're gonna inhale and pull forward. Yep, stretch the belly. Nice, you can feel that tension. So if we um, relax and don't pull as much, um, we don't open up the front of the spine, but we can allow that dynamic tension to happen here. Where we actually pull and hold. So can you feel that? It's amazing. The belly button's like, hello. And then exhale. Now we straighten the arms again. Up and down, down. Just a few of these. I know these are very dynamic. Inhale, pull. See if you keep your arms straight, straight the whole time. It's amazing. Challenging. Exhale. Press. Nice and slow, like we did when we were standing and doing the, the wide straddle forward folds. Inhale, pull. So this is also handstand, right? We're practicing for handstands. Exhale, lengthen. Awesome. So inhale, pull forward, and then slowly bring the feet back down. One at a time. Yeah, pull forward, and then we can release the feet. We're going to come into one more forward fold. Out. Wide straddle. Either clasp the elbows or hook the ankles. Okay, we can actually float here, right? If we picked our feet up, we would totally float. <laughs> so yeah, we have that much weight at our hip flexors. Awesome. So we're going to try a folded leaf. So I'm kind of mixing up the order a little and jumping into some more advanced poses, but folded leaf is when we bring our forearms down to the ground and we lift our legs up, no, high, no higher than the hips, right? So we keep that anchor point with the swing. So about a foot or two off the ground, yeah. So this is folded leaf. So we release our head, we just 
let ourselves float. Our feet can be together or they can be wide. So just feel what it's like to let gravity completely hold you. That's why I like to call it Jedi Flight Training. We're learning the long lift. Now let's float and fly again. So let's just play a little here. Rock back and forth. So we're just using our hands to pull ourselves forward and back. It can be really slow and gentle or it can be a little bit more playful and dynamic. Let's see if this works for you. Notice that there's stuff in the space, so make sure you don't knock over a speaker like I will <laughs> if I go any further. Um, but we're going to try doing a Superman. So in the Superman, we straighten our arms, we reach back. So my thumbs are pointing up. Let's see if you can reach back with one arm and then both arms. Yeah. Whee! Keep your body flat to the earth. So lift your chest a little bit more and swiggle your hands up. Beautiful. And then if you want, you can kick and then have a little bit more. Whee! Yep. Yeah. Beautiful work. Isn't that fun? There you go. Yeah. Look up. Look up. Nice. Nice Superman. So that's one of the, the, the beginner training Jedi Blade moves. <laughs> and then we're going to land it. Next time we come forward. Yay! All right, one more forward fold here. Shake out the head. Let yourself relax. Now, are you guys good with the, with the hip flexors or do you need a break? So I'm gonna go into the black swan sequence if you're up for it. Pretty good. Pretty good? Okay, okay. Yeah, just let me know. The hip flexors can feel a little intense after a while. We're gonna inhale right leg up, hook, straighten the leg. So we're gonna revisit and at any point, just pause where you are, because I'm going to give you stages. And of course, as we can continue on with the stages, it gets more challenging. Ground your left hand. Oh, yep, go ahead, lift your foot and then hook. You got it, that's awesome. Now you can straighten it. Good. So ground your left hand down, and then you're going to twist. So you can do this while you're floating. Yeah, reach for the back side, really good. All the way back, keep going, you're almost there. There it is. Now, what we're going to do, we're in like a twisted um, standing split, but we're gonna turn our toes out to the left. And when we do that, we come into Ardha Trinjasana. Turn your toes out to the left and let yourself swing a little bit. Which toes? Um, the ones on the ground. Turn them to the left? I think so. <laughs> towards the right Towards wall. Mark. Yes, and then let yourself swing. So you'll just slide out to the side. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you just lift your hand. You'll, you'll just sway up. Oh, oh, yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. Ardha Chanjasana is when we come into a side body. Oh, gosh. Okay. Reach up a little bit higher. Get your foot underneath you. So walk it underneath you. So we're at a, a right angle here. Nice. We release the neck. This is such a great stretch. Just roll it around a little bit. You might get a nice free adjustment. We love those. You can actually go behind that mark, so go back a little bit more and you'll have some space. There you go. Perfect. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to climb up for our, our, our hand hold. Find your handle and do a wrist wrap. Everybody should have one. <laughs> really good. Yeah. On the same side or on? Uh, same side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just climb up and find a hand. Well, yeah, you can just use the leg loop. That's perfect. Yeah, can you wrap it around your wrist a couple times? You know how to do that? Go like this. Yeah. Now you have a wrist wrap. Okay? So just use that. I'm going to use the handle because I'm going to do some flips, but only if you want to. The handle's hooked up to the top of the swing. Great. All right. So we're going to float. So fingers come up off the ground. Yeah. Good. Now if you want, you can pick your foot up. This is the first black slot. Yeah, so feel pretty. Ta-da! <laughs> Good. Can you open up your body a little bit more to the side, Catherine? So, does that make sense? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That's fine. Yeah. So you just roll your belly up towards the sky more. Yes. That's that's the, that's exactly it. Beautiful. So let's re-land it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our belly back down towards the ground. Nice. So in this one, if you can, reach up with both hands. So land your foot. Yes. So do you know how to do Nataraj? I have to. Yeah, take a little break with that one. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just do this last one and then we'll come back. Yeah, take a moment. So what we want to do is get the shoulder stretch here and then pick up your foot if you do. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you, Catherine, with the, with the leg loop, it actually makes it a little bit easier because you can just bring it overhead and hold on like that. Okay. Yeah. So that is an option, which is kind of nice because then the leg loop's not bonking you in the, in the head the whole time. So it's okay to use the leg loop. But we're going to spin back over, release your hand hold, and come back down. Yeah. We're just reversing. There's a flip there, but we can do it another time. Okay. Pause. <laughs> now decide what is it that you want to do for a breath. Do you want to just hang out in your forward fold? Do you want to grab through your ankles? Like, where's your hip flexors? I'm like, oh, just wait for it. So we are gonna lengthen our body first, okay? So we're gonna lift our left leg, kick and hook. Yes, just karate chop it. So both hands forward, Catherine. So it's really important to keep those. Now pick up your other foot too. Pick up your bottom foot and then kick. Yes, there you go. You have to keep the body length though. So. Awesome, great. Straighten that leg out. routines and just know if you're feeling that that's when you're in the right place. Plant your right hand. Twist. So this might be enough of a twist for today. Okay? If you straighten your leg more mark it'll actually be easier. Yeah. And now we're gonna reach back and grab for the swing. Nice. So we, we reach up as high as we can on the swing. When we turn our toes out to the right we spin out. Yay! Wee! Harder to that's good. Can you straighten your leg a little bit more? There it is. Good. Now this might be enough, like you can stay here. You know, if you want to climb up, we can find the handhold. Let's all try the leg loop first, because I, I, I think it'll be fun to do the back. And I haven't done it before. So, what we want to do is wrap our arm around a couple times, and then hold. Yeah. See? <laughs> and smile. Balance. <laughs> Feel pretty. Okay. <laughs> Did you see how I did that? Yeah. And then one more time. Wrap it and then wrap it around. So you just use your wrist. Use your wrist wrap around. Yeah. That's fine. I do not like you. But the thing is you wrap the, the other hand. So the, this top hand is the one you wrap, not, not the bottom one. Let's do it again. So hold on. Take the wrist and wrap it around. And then wrap it again. And then one more time. Yep. <laughs> That's totally fine. <laughs> All right. So if you feel strong enough, you're going to lift the bottom leg. Yes. Good. Beautiful. Last one. And then we're going to land it. So you have to land it first and then bend the top leg and then bring the arms overhead. That's a rush. It's a big shoulder turn. Good. Only climb up as far as it feels good for today. I usually grab that nub. Yeah, that's perfect, Catherine, because it gives us something to, yeah, something to, to grasp. And then pick up the bottom foot. It's beautiful. And the last one. Look up if you can. So the heart is pointing forward instead of down. Awesome. <laughs> Big stretch. You can feel that in your arms. So amazing. And then re-land it. We're going to slowly unfurl. The hand comes down to the ground. Release both hands down. So, yeah, there you go. Slide down. Yeah. And then walk yourself to center. <sighs> Take a little break. <laughs> Release the legs. Shake out the head. <sighs> That's a big stretch. So nataraj, but to have to do nataraj without the swing is even more exciting. So it really gives us the opportunity to get that deep. So walk yourself forward. We're gonna come up, hold on to the swing, and then find center. 